Hi everyone, John Paul Briones here from In Motion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for another video in our Getting Started series. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your email account in Thunderbird. After creating email accounts in your cPanel, the next thing you're going to want to do is set up your email clients. In this example, I'm going to show you how to set up Thunderbird. If you need more information on how to create actual email accounts, a pop-up will come up on the screen. That'll take you to our full guide on how to create an email account in your cPanel. In this case though, I'm going to be installing Thunderbird and then setting Thunderbird up to check my email. So I'm going to start by downloading Thunderbird. And if you just Google Thunderbird, it'll come up and your, the download page will actually come up as one of the results. Alright, just finished downloading. I'm going to go ahead and run the program. It's extracting. All right, and then it's going to bring up this installation wizard here. I'm just going to quickly go through and use standard setup options. All right, once it finishes, I'm just going to hit the finish button. It's going to launch Thunderbird. At this point, you're going to need your email settings. If you don't know how to find your email settings, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that to go to our full guide on how to find your email settings in cPanel. All right, when you first open Thunderbird, you should see this message, Welcome to Thunderbird, and it asks, would you like a new email address? In this case, I already have an email address, so I'm going to go ahead and just go skip this and use my existing email. In the Your Name field, go ahead and enter your name. This is the name that will display along with your email when you email somebody. For the email address, of course, enter your full email address. And then for the password field, enter your email password. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Okay, at this point, it's actually asking if I want to use IMAP or POP. Keep in mind that IMAP will leave the emails on the server by default, and it allows multiple devices to see what's on the server to see the same folders. Uh, with POP, it's going to actually download the emails by default, which means that they're stored in this computer now, and that means if other people try to access them from the server, uh, oftentimes they won't be there because they've been removed via POP. In this case, I'm going to use IMAP, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that option there, and I'm going to click the manual config option here. And uh, oftentimes you can just click done, and it'll auto-configure your email settings. In this case, I'm going to go to the manual config just so I can show you how to enter the email settings and where to e enter the email settings. And so for incoming here, uh, once again, this is going to remain the same at the top. This is the stuff that we first entered. But here next to incoming, we're going to change this to mail.example.com. And if you don't know your email settings, once again, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that to the, go to our full guide on how to view your specific email settings in your cPanel. And so incoming and outgoing, I'm just using mail.example.com. For the username, I'm going to put my full email address, so john at example.com. Uh, it auto-filled it auto, uh, the other side, the same thing. And I'm going to go ahead and click Done now. This warning comes up, and it's, it's warning me about my, my uh, certificate. And it's because I'm using example.com, and I do not have an SSL on example.com. I would have to purchase one for example.com to not get this warning. In this case, though, I know that it's a valid server, and, and I do know the identity because I entered it in. So I, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just confirm the security exception, and I'm going to permanently store it so it won't keep reminding me every time. Once you do that, uh, the box, the setup box went away. Now if I go to my email box, if you see the username that you set up will be here listed. And then I can click the inbox to actually check the emails there. And here you notice I have one test email that I sent earlier just so that we could show you as an example. So at this point, my email is set up in Thunderbird. And I can check it here. You can see there's my new email. This is just a test. And then I can also write a new message by clicking the Write option. It'll bring up my field like this. And of course, uh, I can click Get Messages to refresh and to pull the messages back down to see if there's anything new. Um, and it'll also check incrementally. Thank you for joining us for another video in our Getting Started series. Feel free to like this video and comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future.
Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.